Hey, top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 7th. 2018. So here we are, the, the day after the midterm elections, and the futures seem to be extremely happy with the election results. As I'm recording this right at the moment, Dow futures are indicated up 180 points. And as you can see, the diamonds here is expecting a substantial gap at the open. Right here is where we're looking to gap up to right up to this next level of price resistance in the market. So we have this little price resistance. I need to redraw that just slightly right about there. That's about exactly where we're gapping up to. And if we take a look at the 50 day moving average, it's remarkable that we have recovered in the Dow itself over 1700 points in just seven days. Now that gives me just a little bit of pause right there. I love the fact that we're showing great bullishness today. I love the fact that the that we're all fired up to get going today to the upside. But a 1700 point gain in the Dow in just seven days as we run into the 50 day moving average as resistance gives me just a little pause and I would be a little bit careful about chasing into this move this morning. Um, we, we need to see now that's okay to be bullish and wanting to go long. Um, but what I want to do is I want to wait to see if we actually get follow through buyers. So we gap up here this morning. The last thing we want to do is is watch profit takers kind of capitalize on this big gap and sell us off for the rest of the day. You know, the, the old classic pop and drop type patterns that we've seen so many of here recently. So we don't want that to occur. We want to actually see those buyers supporting price after the open so if buyers come in if we gap up here and buyers come in and we continue to see those buyers pushing through then we should be in pretty good shape for that upside move and we may break through that 50-day moving average as resistance just based on its uh, momentum alone we could easily break above that however that does not that does not mean that we're out of the woods here at all on the overall market. Let's take a look at the spider and see what we got going on here in the spiders. The spider's gapping up this morning substantially, but let's keep in mind we're gapping up and we're still underneath a significant level of resistance. Now this morning we will recover the 200 day moving average at the open. But being underneath that significant level of resistance, we still have a lot of work here to do before we really start to repair the technical damage that's in this chart. So we'll want to be really, really careful about chasing this um, into the open just in case those profit takers do capitalize on this big gap pull out some profits and we see some sellers kind of take over here. And that really wouldn't be a big surprise after such a big rally in such a short term period of time. Just a little bit overbought in the short term maybe. Let's take a look at the Qs, the NASDAQ. Also showing gap up this morning, but certainly much more muted than um, the rest of the market. You can see this morning we will gap up and looks like we at the moment we will gap up just above the 200 day moving average here. But we have significant resistance still yet to deal with here in the market. So as we move up and challenge these different resistance levels up here, we have to really keep in mind the potential of uh, profit takers coming in to capitalize on that. So watch this this morning on this gap up. If we uh, fail to hold on to that 200 day moving average, you know, for example, if we do see profit takers and we rally uh, break up through there and sellers kind of take over, that would not be a really good sign for the market overall. On the IWM, the Russell has been, without a doubt, the 
most bearish of the market. It really led this move down. And it's pretty typical in a big sell-off that the small caps take the brunt of, of the punishment here. And we've rallied back significantly here in IWM, but I want to, whoops, not what I wanted to do. We we want to take note of the fact that this rally back still has lots of work to do. Notice that the 200 day moving average is still a long ways away and we're going to be gapping up underneath, still underneath a significant level of resistance here in IWM. I also want you to take note just how quickly that 50 day moving average is diving down and likely to cross the 200 day moving average average here very very soon so although there are some reasons you know the bulls are, are really excited this morning um, there's some reasons for a little bit of caution today and to be really careful about chasing this market gap open the volatility is just really high it's going to make it very 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 challenging potentially to trade let's take a quick look at the vix And by the way, everyone, hey, if you would do me a favor, I try to produce these uh, videos without a bias to the market. Notice that I'm, I'm not trying to predict a direction of the market. I'm only showing you support, resistance, and trend and where we may run into problems and things we need to think about. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button. On YouTube click the follow me button if you happen to be watching this on Facebook click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment I really really do appreciate that and if you could do me a favor today tell me are you bullish or bearish for the short term I'm talking the next couple three days are you bullish or bearish on the market just leave that in the comments I would truly appreciate that also stick around I have a couple of trade ideas for you today um, at the end of the, of the video so if we take a look at the VIX here you can see the VIX has calmed down substantially a little bit of that fear has come out of the market and I would suspect that this morning we will see the uh, the VIX gap down possibly even break below this level here at the open wouldn't surprise me at all we could come back and test this level here now the question will be if those profit takers do start coming in um, at, at the, the, with this big gap up, we could see that gap down begin to gain a little bit of momentum to the upside here um, on the VIX if a little bit of fear starts to creep back in and profit taking comes in. So watch that close. We want to see that VIX continuing to call me to calm down we don't want to see any of these support levels in here um, give support to uh, fear and allow that VIX to continue to um, show signs of strength and bouncing right there so we'll want to stay kind of focused on that just in case that occurs I'm not suggesting that it will I'm just saying the potential is here and we need to pay attention to uh, the risk factors that are in this market now t2122 T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. You know, this is one of those really cool indicators. It's very consistent in showing us when we have reached bearish reversal zones or bullish reversal zones. Very consistent. And you can see we get down in here and it's a bullish reversal zone. The market rallies. We get up in here and we're in a bearish reversal zone and the market sells off. So we have traveled a, a long, long ways here in just a really short period of time um, coming back up. This morning's gap will likely push us very, very close. To this bearish reversal zone you know 1700 points gained in the dow in just seven days um, tends to put in a short-term oversold condition now what i mean by short-term oversold it could last just one day it could last several days but what it means is that we have moved very very far very very fast and so we need to see some proof that the buyers are going to continue to support that that move up um, in in the market and that we haven't reached that profit taking zone where sellers could pop in there and start taking over for just the short term looking for that little bit of rest or pullback and seeking 
some price support. So taking a look at at uh, T2122, we can see that we do have room to the upside, and we're going to get a big move th to the upside at the open today um, with that gap. We also can see that we have a substantial room to move to the downside, so keep that in mind. After that gap up open, we could be clear up here, and we could see some of that profit taking come in just in the short term. So just a little bit of reason to be cautious about that open and be careful not to chase it. Let's take a quick look at um, the diamond, or excuse me, not the diamonds, the um, economic calendar. Economic calendar this morning is giving us just a couple things to be concerned about, and that is um, jobless claims. Oh, excuse me, uh, it's Wednesday. Um, the EIA Petroleum Status Report today and the beginning of the FOMC meeting today. Everything else is pretty uh, pretty light here um, on the day. But keep in mind on third. Oh, uh, keep in mind that on the earnings calendar we have over 400 companies reporting earnings today. They're coming in really, really fast and furiously this morning. So a lot of price movement can certainly occur around those earnings results. And keep in mind we have have nearly 500 companies reporting on Thursday, um, as well as the FOMC announcement. So if you're expecting a quiet and calm market, um, probably better um, probably better reconsider. We're, we're likely to um, experience a very fast profit, I mean, very fast price action, lots of volatility over the next few days. So watch that and be very careful about how you trade and plan your risk for the day or for the rest of the week. Let's take a look at a couple of trade ideas. If you guys remember, just a few days ago, I mentioned uh, McDonald's as as a trade we needed to keep an eye on right back in here well mcdonald's did pull back and a beautiful rally here um, in that move now mcdonald's is continuing to look st strong and break out to new highs looking good i would not chase this trade i would wait for the next entry which means allow this to rest or pull back and watch for an entry into that trade other good trades all over the place in the market and we tend to have a theme going on um, of these defen defensive sector trades such as Walmart this was a planned trade on Saturday that I did with the right way options um, e during the right way options e-learning and you can see entry into this trade has worked out beautifully and Walmart moving up and looking to gap up this morning um, in a nice uh, nice profit uh, move right now if we take a look at um, Altria Mo mo another defensive company um, or in defensive sector stock you can see a nice breakout here in this chart we broke out pulled back held this area of support buyers are coming in to support that price we could easily see altria moving on up to test these um, um, additional resistance levels and i'm seeing some interesting moves going on in um in retail, um, KSS, for example, has put in so far a beautiful cup pattern here, an incredible cup pattern, and a little rest or consolidation across here could really put in an amazing cup and handle pattern, um, which would suggest higher highs coming in uh, Kohl's. So keep an eye on Kohl's. And I'm seeing that in, in lots of places like um, LB, um, L Brands. Um, nice little breakout from these lows. Nice little rally up. So wait for this to pull back and rest a little bit. And we might be seeing some interesting changes here in retail as we start building toward that Santa Claus rally. And maybe those retail uh, stocks are starting to pick up a little bit early here. So let's keep an eye on that so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits 
please, please do me a favor. Click those subscribe buttons. Thank you very much for all of your support and for your comments. You guys are awesome. I really do appreciate it. I wish you great profits today. And if you're struggling as a trader, please remember to never give up on yourself. That trading requires a, a specific um, amount of discipline to a set of rules and guidelines. If you need some help with that, please make sure to contact uh, someone and, and ask for that help. Because believe me, being able to do what I do to trade full-time for a living is a blessing that I wish for everyone. So with that, everyone, have a great day. We'll talk to you all very, very soon, bright and early Thursday morning.